Good afternoon to everybody that joined the webinar for today. Today we'll just do a quick overview of Share Tracking in Compass, just to show you how the software works, what each button does, and any questions afterwards, you can stay behind and ask the questions. So, as you will see on my screen right now, I am on the Encompass site. So, first of all, I log in. My username and password is already inserted there. So, I click log in. Automatically, it puts me on the investment dashboard. And so your investment dashboard is where we will go to see how the shares are performing and what shares are in the portfolio. So first of all, let's start at this account balance here. The account balance is basically just to show us how many accounts we have and how each account is performing in a chart, in a, a pie chart form. So, as I can see here, I have six accounts. I have the simulation account. I have a Coral account. I have a test account, a buy and sell, a guru, and a golden goose account. As you can see, most of them are delivering a profit. It's just my Coral and my um, buy and sell account that's not delivering a profit right now. Each of them, I started with 100,000. Next, I have my profit and loss. So this is your overall value of the accounts. So I have my income minus my expenditure and whether I've made a profit or a loss overall. Market values, automatically your investment dashboard will throw you on your simulation account. So your market values, as you will see here, I have a ND and SSW in here. So it shows me the current market price for the number of shares that I've bought. Okay. Then if I scroll down, I have my accounts. I have the account name. So the simulation, buy and sell, Coral, Guru, Test and Golden Goose account. I have my market balance. So your market balance is what your overall account is worth currently. So the shares that you've bought with your profit and the cash you have left in that account. That would be your market balance. Your cash balance is what you still have left to spend in that account. Your investment value, how much did you insert in that share? Okay. Total brokerage costs. So since I started my simulation, it shows me how much brokerage I have paid since this simulation account was started. Growth and loss shows me whether this account is making a profit or a loss. Then investment summary for simulation beneath. So your investment summary gives you the summary of what's going on in that account. So it gives you the company code which is A and D. Quantity is the number of shares that I've bought. Unit cost, so your unit cost is the number of shares or is the price of the share you bought it on plus brokerage. Total cost, your total cost is what you paid for that share including brokerage. Then we have the current price, meaning the current price per share of this company and then the current value so what it's currently worth so if i were to sell this share i would walk away with roughly 93000 rand okay and my investment cost 
was let's round it off and say 76,000 Rand. Today's move, that's usually in cents. Overall move, so since I've invested in this share, how did it perform? So you can see here that it made a 17,532 Rand and 10 cent profit. So your overall move is in Rands. Your overall move percentage. So since you've bought the share, what did this share do? And I can see that's a 23.14% growth that I've made. Green is positive and red is negative. Then I have a little action button here. On that action button, I can go and click on it next to my share. It gives me a investment options window. If I look here, it says close window, set stop loss, sell, buy, and graph. So your graph is to show you if you set up your stop losses on the share, it shows you your, your share, your share's performance since you set it up your stop loss. If I go buy, I can go and buy additional uh, shares in this company. So I can go and buy more shares by just simply putting in my quantity that I want to buy, supplying a comment of why I am buying, it gives me my break even point and my total cost. And if I click buy again, it will buy into the share. Next, I have my sale. If I go through the sale, I insert the number of shares that I want to sell. I supply a comment. Why am I selling the share? It gives me my brokerage costs. In other words, how much brokerage that I am going to pay? Because you pay fees for both buying and selling shares. And your profit, whether you're making a profit or a loss. So your profit is your investment value minus your costs to invest minus your brokerage. So in other words, your investment value is the current price minus your total cost, what you paid overall for that share, and then minusing the brokerage fees would give me my profit. And when I inserted my number of shares to sell and my comments, I click on sell again and it will sell the share. Next up, I have my set stop loss. Here I can set up a stop loss for the share. I can go, I see the share code, the unit cost price and the current price, target value, a stop loss, a gross stop loss. And then I can insert the percentages that I want. A target value is how much this share must grow positive before you want to sell the share. A stop loss in how much drop percentage wise must it take for you to sell the share or think about selling the share? Your growth stop loss is like a trailing stop loss. So it follows the share and as soon as that share starts dropping, your growth stop loss will stop. And then if it falls through that 3%, you will get a notification. Then I insert my cell phone number. I say activate. Intraday SMS is in order for me to receive the SMS three to four times a day, just to keep me updated on what my share is doing. So this is a preference between each person. Some people like to know how their shares are performing, even though you can't see the share every day, you get the SMS or you're busy at work during the course of the day and you just want to see how your share is performing, the SMS will notify you. And from there on, you can decide whether you must take five minutes just to go and sell a share 
or if you are still in the green and you can still hold on to your shares. I have a update values. I've inserted everything, click, clicking on update values and my SMS will be created. Now I'm going to click on close window to close this window. So that's your investment dashboard. And next up, I'm going to my analysis. First of all, I have my world market indicator. So underneath your world market indicators, you, you will see there's a resources. So on the resources, I can see how my Brent crude oil, gold, gold per kilogram, palladium, platinum, and silver is performing. I can also get the codes here, the current price, the percentage movement for the day, the, the date it was last modified, so we can see here it was modif um, updated today, and then the movement, whether it made a growth or a loss. If I scroll down a bit, I will get to currencies. So here I can see how the currencies are performing. In other words, I can see the euro to a USD dollar, the price, the percentage movement, the date it was modified, and whether it's a growth or a loss. So we can see here that both our resources and currencies are down today. Then, lastly, I have my market indicators. So, your market indicators, I can see here how the, the France, Germany, China, Japan, international, or the South African market overall, how the performance is going. So, I get the index code. This code, I can go and insert at my chart IQ and it will display the charts for me of, if I put in PPX1, it will display the France market overall. The change it had for the day, the percentage change it had for the day, its current level, and the last update. Next up, I have my stock movement view. So my stock movement view, I will see a few different things here. I can see the top 40 blue chip shares, which is my 40 largest companies on the JSE. I can see my market sediment. It says Tuesday, 8 September 2020, and the time is 13.14. It gives me a bull versus a bear. So a bull, you have two types of trends. You have a bull market, which is an upwards trend in the market for more than two years. And then you have a bear trend, which is a downwards trend in the market for more than two years. So I can see that today, overall, the market is more bullish than bearish. So meaning there's more growth than losses. If I get back to my top 40 blue chip shares, which is my 40 largest companies on the JSE, I click on it, it gives me this table. First of all, I have a code. If I'm not sure what the company is, I can just go and click on that. And I can see that PRX is Process NV. I can see Process is a global consumer internet group and one of the largest technology investors in the world. I can see the industry the sector, and if it has a, a telephone number, a fax number, email address, a residential address, a postal address, and the year end and the website, it will display it there. Furthermore, I can find my fundamentals this side. And from this window, I can buy a share, go to my charts, the charting tool is a chart that we made. So it's a smaller version of the charts IQ. And I can even add the share to the watch list from here. Then I'm going to close this window. 
the next column is the price in rands. So this is that shares current price for one share. The movement percentage, this will show me whether this share is growing or falling. So I can see that process had a 0.26% growth. And if I look at NPN, which is NASPASH, it's it dropped by 1.15%. Next up, I have my top 10 volume. So volume is the number of shares that traded hands during a trading day. I have the company code, the price it closed on the previous trading day in rands, and the volume it had for that day. Again, if I don't know the code, I can just click on the share, and I can see that RDF is Redefined Properties Limited. So I'm going to close this window. Next up, I have my top 10 best performers. Now, normally this isn't your 10 shares that's the best on the market overall. This is your 10 shares that's performing the best for this specific day that you are viewing it. I have the company code, the price per share in rands, and the percentage movement it had for the day. So if I look at PHM, the current price is 1 rand 39, and it had a growth of 239.02% for the day. If I click on it, I can see that it's Pumiela Gaming and Leisure Limited. Okay, so this you can do on all of these. If you don't know the code, you can click on it and it will automatically display that security detail window. Next up, top 10 worst performers. The same, this is your shares that's performing the worst on the JSE at this moment. Again, not the 10 worst shares overall, but the 10 worst shares for today. I have the company's code, price in the rand, and the percentage movement it had for the day. I have a price earnings average. Yeah, I can see more or less sense wise what I can make out of a sector. So I have all my sectors there and then my price earnings average in cents. Next up, top 10 shares bought by clients. Now, this isn't to say that these are the 10 best shares. This is just to say, share trackens clients. The 10 shares they buy in the most is DRD, which is DRG Gold, Sussel Limited, Sibanye Stillwater, Harmony, Anglo Gold Ashanti, Clicks, Goldfield, New Gold Issuer, Impala Platinum, and Capitec Bank. The movement for the day, and the same year, I can go and view my charts from here by clicking on a share. Next up, I have my strongest stocks, percentage above 200 moving average. So, your moving average is a red line that we insert in the charts. It's based on 200 days and it gives you that specific share that you are viewing, its average price. Now, what it does is, is if we look at that moving average, it's going to say two things. First of all, whether that share is performing above or below its own average. So first of all, we want the share above our average. Okay, because when a share is below an average, it's usually a share that's struggling. And why do we want to invest in a share that's, that's struggling? And the second thing it's going to tell me 
is it's going to give me a smoother indication of whether this share is going up or going down. I have the company's code, the company's name, and then the percentage movement. So, in other words, Hammerson PLC is 106.43% above its own average. Next up, I have my weaker stocks, percentage below 200 day moving average. So these are shares that's below their averages. I have the company's code, the company's name, and then the percentage is below its own average. I have the positive share sector movement. So your positive share sector movement tells you that for today, which share is performing the best in its sector. So if I take the basic materials sector, RSG is the share that's performing the best for today. The price is one rand. The movement is 53.85% positive. The negative share sector movement just shows us the opposite. I get the sector again. So in the basic material sector, APH is the share that's performing the worst today. The price is 2 Rand 38 cents and the movement is 24.44% negative. Next up, we have the winning shares list. So your winning shares list, your winning shares list is a list of plus minus 100 shares that's set it up by the guru, Mox. So she also does webinars and she gives us the winning shares list. She gives us the golden goose. I will touch on the golden goose. So the guru watch list is three shares that she says you can look at. And she gives you a reason gaining bullish momentum that's pan but then she says also consider aspen farm care gaining bullish momentum okay late latest performance is shares that's that has been on the winning shares list or still is on the winning shares list but like these are performing very good i have the company name and then the gain it made recently added is the shares that she added lost. So I can see that the last share she added was Anglo-American PLC and the date she added it was 4 May 2020. The price is in cents. That is the price per share the day she added that share. The latest is its current price. The gain is the percentage it made since she added that share and then your status tells you whether it's been a gain or a loss. Next up I have the charting tool. Like I said it's just a smaller version of your chart IQ but you can see you can add a stochastic, a RSI and you can also type in the code of the share that you want to view and your graph will show here underneath investment graph. Chart IQ, that's your big big graphs. That's where we view the shares. Heat map. So this just gives you a layout of how the shares are performing for the day from the best chair to the worst chair for the day. Your stocks, this is where you will analyze shares. I'm not going to touch on this as Thursday night they will be speaking about the stocks but here you can view your watch lists and you will find your shares here. You have the golden goose so like I said I will touch on this slightly. Your golden goose is something that our guru Mox made. This was made after Encompass so it has an extra fee a month. 
you can feel free to give us a ring and we will explain the extra fee. So the extra fee is 99 Rand a month because it is her personal info that she gives you. But you have weekly signals, which is your longer term trading and your daily signals, which is your shorter term trading. In other words, daily signals would be your daily to weekly trading. Your weekly signals would be your long term. In other words, a month upwards. So I click on Golden Goose. It gives me a shares breach level. In other words, if you look at a traffic light, it shows you it's green. In other words, we can go and buy that share. If it's amber, it means that that share is still approaching the level where the guru says we can buy in. If it's red, it means it's still far away from its level where she says we can buy in. So I have the code of the company, the traffic light. In other words, green means buy, amber means wait, and the red means it's still far away. The buy entry price, this is where the guru says you can go and buy in. Last price, so your last price is the current price of the share. Buy target price, that is where the guru says you must sell that share. And then your buy expected profit, she tells you if you buy when she says and sell when she says you will make a 21 percent profit the sell side is more for cfd trading okay so i'm not going to explain that next up i have my accounts i have an invest button this is your longer way to buy a share financials so underneath financials i can have a summary of my account I can view my current holdings here. I have safety ratchets telling me whether I need to sell or whether I need to hold. I can see my transactions that took place in this portfolio. I can see the cash flow, what went out, what went in, and I can see my income and expenses. Next up, I have calculators, a little investment calculator. So here I can see when I type in a code there and I click on the result, it immediately fills in the company's code, the current price. Now I can say how much shares I want. It works out my break even point. I can see how much brokerage I'm going to pay. It's going to give me my total amount that I need to pay. It will also automatically work out how much brokerage I'm going to pay when I sell the share. And it gives me a minimum price that I need to reach for me to make my money back. I have a financial independence calculator. This just works out. If your monthly salary is 10,000 Rand and, your, and the future inflation rate is 6%, and you have 5,000 Rand that you can start with to save and you can save 10% of your salary and your return on investment is 30. If I say calculate, you will reach the first level of independence after nine years and 11 months. In other words, based on these values, if I am to get my investment return the same as my monthly salary it's going to take me nine years and 11 months based on these values next up i have the education so yes lecture modules please do go and make the time to read through them if you haven't already you will see these four modules and each one has a few chapters i can also do the exams and I can view the webinars, so the normal share track and webinars, the live webinar archive, your share track and tubes, which also gives you more info and webinar bookings. This is where you can book shares, uh, book webinars, sorry. Next up, I have news and information. 
so I can see the market news. This will load eventually. I can see the market news, what's happening in the market, and I have market information. This will show me the company's code, the company's name, the sector the company is in. It will also give me a link to that company's website, and then a status, whether this share is still active on the JSE or whether this share is suspended, like African bank investments, meaning they are not on the JSE anymore. I can also find my list of stock stockbrokers here when I for when I want to trade live. Next up, after news and information, we have media. So here you can view our Facebook page, our Twitter, and our blog. And then you have your closed side menu button. That support button that you see there, that is for us. And you have a search button right on top. If you look on the left hand side, you will see there's a little search button there. If I click on search, I can also search a code from here. Let's say you received stock picks, you can type in a code, it gives you the results, and you can go and view that share. I have a training index, I have a need support button. Let's say you busy on the software and you have a question on the software instead of waiting or for your next session or something like that you can go to ask a question or request a technician you put in your name your contact number your email address your question or what you are struggling with say submit and it sends out a message to the support team you have a contact us button let's say you feel that your question is important and you want it to be answered right now you can phone us on our landline at 012-9400-800 or you can contact us on our 24 hours support line. Let's say it's eight o'clock at night, you're playing on Encompass and there's a question you have. You can WhatsApp us or you can call us on 082-781-9885 or 083 268 6588 and we also give you email addresses so i'm going to close this window now next up i have my t's and c's this is my rules and conditions please do take the time to read through all 15 points i can set up my preferences of my charting And I have my logout button, which logs me back out. So that was the session for today, guys. It was just an overview of the software and how it works. I do hope it was very helpful. The people who has questions can stay behind. The rest of you must have a lovely day.